almost 80 years, the Romans tried to crush the ancient Britons, but with only mixed results. The southern part of the country was taking Roman rule relatively well. But up here in the north, not so much. Something had to be done about the mystical Druid-led natives. In the year AD 122, the Emperor Hadrian himself came here and came up with a very Roman solution. Build a bloody big wall. It took six years and 15,000 men, but when it was finished, it was the ultimate statement of Roman power. Stretching 73 miles from coast to coast, it split the country in two a permanent barrier separating the more docile south from the badly behaved north. Ah, oh, Nick. Ah, oh, Clive. How are you? I'm fine, thank right. you. Dr Nick Hodgson, senior archaeologist at Tyne and Weir Museums, literally wrote the book on Hadrian's Wall. Actually, he's written two and a pamphlet. Well, this is the wall, then. I've, the, uh, this is Hadrian's Wall. Yes, excellent. We've gone to the right place. Well, it's a very beautiful structure as it, it snakes away into the distance and a substantial s structure in, th in that sense. But it's only, you know, this high. Uh, I mean, uh, with a little bit of an effort, you could easily get over that. Some of it's gone. Oh. And basically, what, well, this is five feet high? Yeah. It was four times this high. Oh, right. Oh, right. 20, 20 feet high. So what's happened? Has it sunk into the ground or what's, what's happened over well, the years? Well, over the years, the stones have fallen off, been taken by local people to yeah. build walls and houses. Yeah. The original wall was up to 20 feet high and eight feet wide. It had a fort every seven miles, each housing a force of at least 500 men. And just to be on the safe side, every mile along the entire length of the wall, there were smaller forts and watchtowers. Not taking any chances, were they? Between the ditch on the north side and the wall itself, it's been discovered that there was a system of obstacles, right. sharpened branches yeah. uh, set into um, pits. So the equivalent of sort of like barbed wire you might put yeah, on the wall nowadays. And, yeah, an impenetrable entanglement. And if you put all this together, yeah. the whole package, um, it really has the appearance of a serious military obstacle. Yeah. The wall didn't completely end fighting in this part of the country, but it did give the Romans a highly fortified and permanent base from which to start forcing through peace, or at least their version of it. Standing here on the 21st century remains, it's hard to grasp just how big and intimidating this wall must have been. Luckily, at Vindolanda, there's a handy visual aid, a recreation of a section of Hadrian's Wall in its prime. Yes, I'm beginning to get the idea. It really is quite big, isn't it? 